So I gotta find her in this big group of horses here. She's in here someplace. And she's not the easiest one to catch either. There she is right there, the one with the the frozen off ear. Whoa, whoa. There you go. There you go. I'm not gonna attempt that. Sorry, Jenny Lee. I don't think that's gonna work for me. <laughs> hey. morning I'm Trinity Vandenacre today we're gonna bring some cows from just over there around into these corrals and load them in a semi and that that's because this is fall in Montana and the time of grazing is coming to an end and we need to ship calves so the ranchers are going to take all the calves off of the cows right now this is October and start shipping them meaning selling them a lot used to be that you would just drive the cows all the way through town you know and all the way back to your place but now it's much easier in a lot of cases just to bring a semi over to a nice set of corrals if you have them and then haul them from there back to the home place added benefit of that is the calves don't know where they came from if if you it's like a cat if you haul a cat somewhere they will find their way back home if they get back out same thing with calves so it's much better if you haul them in a semi they just show up somewhere and they don't really know how they got there. Now normally I would be riding this black horse over here. I don't know if you can see him. That's Calabar. But my son hasn't ridden his horse in a while. And since his little football team thing is getting over, uh, he's probably going to start riding again. So I'm going to ride his, the horse he's been riding, just to uh, make sure she's going to behave when he starts riding her. She's been sitting sitting here getting fat so I got to find her in this big group of horses here she's in here someplace and she's not the easiest one to catch either there she is right there the one with the the frozen off ear hey buddy Let's see if we can catch her in here sometimes she's kind of tough to catch in a herd of horses Oh, buddy. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh. Oh. I'm going to have to try to get around her here or get her in a corner or something. It's hard when you're in this many horses because they do block your efforts. So you try to block them a little bit, but not too much. Block them, but not too much so they turn. Right there. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. 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 There you go. There you go, girl. Here, lick her lips there. That's when you see a horse lick her lick his lips like that. It's usually a sign that they're giving they're giving in to you. It's like, oh, okay. I see. You got me. That's that's typically what that means. So if you see that action, um, it means, oh, okay, I'm not going to run anymore. Or whatever it is they're trying to do. What do you think? Got enough horses here now? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Knucklehead, whoa, whoa. You idiot. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? 
Think you're gonna break something? Whoa. Oh, buddy. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. No screwing around now. No screwing around. Trying to throw my stuff all over the place now. So she hadn't been ridden in a while. The last person that rode her did a terrible job. So let me see if she thinks she wants to be good or not. Oh. Oh. No problems at all. Look at that. I don't know what it is, but this this little pony knows exactly what's going on when I get up here. After riding her around for just a few minutes, I just tied her up to the fence for a second, and just then Corey rolled in with his horse trailer, and we jumped in and headed down the road. There you go. You guys behave. Some of these pastures that we're on are right next to the to the highways and byways. This one is, and it's irrigated. So this this is actually gets uh this actually gets irrigated with with a pivot. So you can have cows on it a lot longer. Well, the day I'm riding with, uh, whoa, real ranchers today. So these guys, they don't like to be filmed, but they're like the toughest people you'll meet. Cause I go home and I'm all tired and everything. And I, I call them and they're like, yeah, we're still out here trying to chase a cow out of the, cause it got out down the road or something like, and that's like 1030 at night. <clears throat> Started at five o'clock that morning. So we're gonna take these cows right here and move them up to the railroad tracks and then over to my dad's place and put them in the krell. Now there is a few obstacles in the way, so it's gonna be a little tricky. And right when we get there to the krells, then we gotta figure out where the horses are, where to put them in the krell. So which way are we gonna go here? Right at the corner, okay. So Jenny Lee's gonna go open that gate over there and then he's gonna go wrangle him this way and we'll try to push him over towards this fence. Corey was trying to count the cows and it looked like to him that we we're missing a couple. It was supposed to be 40 and then two bulls, so total of 42. Yeah, I don't either. I don't see any back there.
Hey cows. Hey cows. It's supposed to be like 40, right? Left that that white panel down way over in the corner. Is that where we're going out? Because I came in that way when we when we did the four-wheelers. Now it gets a little tricky behind these houses because there's not much for fences. So we gotta go out into the railroad tracks and then down down the railroad tracks but not let them get into the fences on this side and then kick them in the gate right there where those other cows are over there but we also got to make sure that those cows are moved out of the way because they're standing right where that gate is right now we don't want to mix the two She's not really used to this whip yet. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'll get around them here in a second, there, Corey. I got them, Jenny Lee. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, hey. If we could take them right down this fire lane, that would be all right. Hey, cattle, hip! Uh, hey, cattle, hey! Uh, yeah, 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 yeah! Humpy today. <laughs> hey cows, hey cows, hey cows, hey cows, come on. Yep, 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 come on, bull. Humpy, huh? Little humpy? Some somebody, you want me to go up there? Uh I don't care. You can if you want. Get the hump out of her. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's all it took, huh? Get that little kink out of there. There you go. Yep. Hey cows. Hey cattle. Hey cows. Hey cows. No, I mean, do you want to hold the 
Do we need to hold them while we move those out of the way, or you think Sorry, we can? Dad's gonna run. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Hey, 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 hey. Should do you think one of us should go in there and turn them this way, right when they go in? Whoa. 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 Hey, 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 cows, hip, hip. Hey, cattle, hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, 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 hey. Hey, cows, hey, cows, hip, hip, hip. Hey cows, hip, hip. Hey calves, hip. Come on calves, hip. No, I I can get it. You better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, like shoot down a little ways and then we'll go right towards those haystacks. Yeah, we could. Lots of people don't realize that in Montana, there is a lot of desert. We are actually almost all a high mountain desert, and we have a lot of areas that have very little grass and a lot of cactus. This is one of them. This grass never grows very high, and it's full of cactus. That's because we only get about six to eight inches of rain every year. A lot of people would be surprised at this because when you watch any show with Montana in it, it's got these big lush green meadows and mountains everywhere. And that's just certain parts of Montana. Where'd the little calf go? He's back there. Huh? No, she was with you. She was with you. Whoa, whoa. Well, she's born up north in the brownie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably in the middle could of fall. Have been anywhere between December and yeah. April. Yeah. Huh? Could have been anywhere. Oh. Any point in time in the cold. <laughs> no, this is Dad's to the to that fence over there. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Hey. Hey, cows. Hip, hip. Come on, cows. Hip.
hip, 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 when something is whipping over their head. So it's it can be difficult to get them to calm down and just walk with something whipping over their head and making noise. So I'm just continuing to do it and trying to keep her calm at the same time. Hip, hip, hey! Hey cows, hey cows, hey cows, hip, hip, hey! hey. These cows didn't want to go up this alleyway, and it was probably because it was 50 horses standing right beside them, and they didn't want to walk past all those horses. Uh, that's my thought, anyway. Yeah, hey! 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 I'm, I'm betting those horses aren't helping anything. Hip, hip. Well, usually what I do is I open this this red gate right here and put them right in that pen, and they don't they don't ball up in the, in the big alleyway. Pen, yeah. In the big pen, they can go out and circle instead of stop in the middle of the alleyway there. I know, he does make fun of you for sticks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sticks are hard to find around this place. There's no trees. Don't have any trees down here. So we're gonna sort some cows off the calves here. So we use these paddles, they have little beads in them. So when you go like this, you can kind of shake them and move cows back and forth with them. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. You want to go cows in which one? Uh, probably put the cows in here and the calves in that next one. I'll set you guys run gates. Okay. So we're going to put the cows in here and calves up there. Try not to look them in the eye, because when they're coming at you. This bulls, the bulls over here trying to get at the new cows. He's like, there's a bunch of new cows. Interesting, when you're working cows, you, you really, the, the, front, the front of your body is pressure to them. So you want to drop your head and kind of face this way. And I'm not looking at her that way. Otherwise, they feel pressured and they, and they won't go by you. I'm not going to attempt that. Sorry, Janie Lee. I don't think that's going to work for me. <laughs> yeah, good looking little Ron. He's friendly, really small. Where'd he come from? No idea. 
But he goes he goes to a kids that kids camp in Washington. Oh, okay. He's a perfect size for a kid. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice looking gray horse. I don't know where that one came from either, but that one's blind in one eye. But he they still use the heck out of him in the mountains. I don't know how. They love him. I don't know how that he gets around. No. no, that came from that. Um, oh, yeah, that that's. Do? I do that in my spare time. I braid the tails on them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what the cows and calves are going to ride in, and that's the reason we had to separate them into cows and calves because you're going to put cows in one section and calves in another section. Otherwise, the cows, when they're rolling down the road, they can step on the calves and hurt them. So. But this is really tall. The gate to get in here is right here. So it's at this level on me. So you have to have a ramp to get them up into there. And that's where we're setting up over here. So how many can you fit in there, Dusty? This shirt, this is like one of the only shirts I wear. <laughs> I got a load like different compartments in here, so she's gonna get five. He wants to load the cows first, and he wants to load five of them at a time. So there's little compartments that they go in, like five in here, and then he closes the gate. Five in here, and you close the gate. Hey. Hey cows, hip, 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 hip. Hip, 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 hey, 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 hey. Let's go, cows, hip, hip, hey, hey. Hey, cows, hip, 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 hip. Hey, cows, hip. Maybe they'll see the gate up. Right. Hip, 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 hey. Get up here, hip. If want them to come out, they're not going to. No, since we want them to come out, they're going to stay in there. Hip, 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 hip. Hey, 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 Five more go right here, right? Yeah. And then in here. 
How many in the back? 10? 20 calves on the back. 20 calves on the back. I see. Trusting my count on that. Hip, hip, hip. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hip, hip, hip. Hey, 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 hey. Hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Probably. It's probably 20. Okay, hip, 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 hips, hey! These calves, are calves definitely aren't, aren't as good about going up the ramp, huh? Cows are good. Yeah. The cows are having trouble finding their way around this corner and up that ramp um, because this is new to them. Um, of course, the cows load up because they know how to do it, but the calves don't know that the truck is okay. So I jumped down in there with the rest of them to help push the calves up, and I got kicked. <laughs> Hip, 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 hip. Well, that may not have seemed like much of a kick because you couldn't see it, but you can see the camera really shake. And this is what that leg looks like over a one week later. This goes to show you how dangerous everyday normal work is when you're on a ranch or a farm. And you always have to load the bulls separately because they are troublemakers. And usually you don't haul them together, but these two are hauling, these two are with each other and they don't seem to be fighting, so. Possibility they'll be all right. Because if they decide to, they can actually take a panel or a side of a trailer out. Right, Corey? <laughs> or you. Hold on, Jamie. Hey, bull. Hey, bull. Uh, oh, will that slide? I don't know. I'm gonna go pull that forward a minute. Uh, you might have to get the tiny bit. You might have to. I gotta get that forward. Will he fit? Yeah, he'll go. Did you get it? What I'm doing here is the tailgate of the trailer is actually backed up to the panels and they can't get it closed. So the bulls are kind of half, they're in there, but they can come right back out unless 
we pull away from there and get that latch on the gate so they can't get out of the trailer. Right there? I'm just gonna pull it up on this flat spot here. Jay Lee, I'm just gonna... Well, as Corey rolls away with the cows and bulls in his trailer and the semi has already left the cows are headed back to the home place where they'll get separated off and the calves will be shipped off to a feedlot for right now and the cows will go back to the hills. There's another task for me, which is to unsaddle my horse and put her away. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.